Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another fantastic Saints game day. We have two awesome games lined up. We got some Rocket League and Counter-Strike action. I'm like the canary in the coal mine for uh, for Counter-Strike. If I'm here, you know some Counter-Strike is going down, but it's my absolute pleasure to do that for you today. I am the one and only Daniil Bettersen McGee Brown, and I'm joined by the other one and only... <laughs> the Holy Juan, uh, Theo. It's going to be two exciting games today. As you said, we have Rocket League and CS, and uh, can't wait for the action. 100%. You know, Rocket League... It's not often we can say that we're a little bit of the underdogs coming to this one. We're seventh seed or we're tenth seed tenth going up against the seventh seed, Ole Miss University. Very fierce competition in these playoffs. You know, our Saints had a little bit of a hard season starting off two and five, but they were playing the Super Conference. So even though their scoreline wasn't as impressive, the opponents they were playing were definitely the best of the best. So they still get to make it into the playoffs, and they're here to show us what it's going to be looking like today. Playing off against Ole Miss University. This is a single elimination bracket so you only have one chance to really show what you're made of before you get sent packing so I think the Saints are going to want to bring their one and all their 100% <laughs> to this one and you can see both teams playing against a bit weaker opponents uh, last uh, last round were both able to get the sweep so mm -hmm. both coming in with a lot of momentum here and it's going to be an interesting uh, show up as at the top we have Saints taking on Akron Esports and the winner of that game will be going up against the winner of this game so that's going be interesting to watch <laughs> as well. Saints versus Saints. <laughs> it's very, very possible. So uh, it's going to be an important game today. Ole Miss, definitely a very strong team, has given has given the Saints a run for their money, but they've never actually played against each other in May. So it's going to be their first time meeting in this league. And, you know, the winner of this could put themselves on a trajectory to win this whole thing. Absolutely, and uh, this this match is not going to be a sweep one way or the other, I'd expect at least. I think that this could really go either way, but however it goes, it's going to be a hard-fought victory for sure. It's going to be a best of seven as well, so a lot of time and a lot of opportunity to recover, come back, and find it within yourself to overcome any triumphs and win the series. In fact, I'm just getting excited thinking about it myself. Let's, <laughs> let's throw this over now to Counter-Strike, thinking a little bit more about what's going to be going on that action today. We're playing against JMU. Dukes in Nace as well. It's our Saints' first playoff game in their season, and I think they're coming off of a 5-2 and two regular season play. Winner of this one will be facing off against Fisher College. So I, I know uh, Accusing Penguin there is telling me he's excited to be playing them. I believe they're playing them in ECAC as well. So if they win this, they're going to be facing them in Nace too. Yeah, I mean, Fisher known to be a pretty strong school. So hopefully our Saints can win today and uh, play play against the best of the best. That's that's how you become the best. You got to play mm -hmm. the best teams. And if you can take those down, you'll put yourself in a great position for success. Absolutely. But I hear the whirring of engines in my heart. The action is getting underway with Rocket League. We'll be able to go straight into the action right now. We got Christian Vesh and Spoos on the field against C Money, Lunar, and Stealth in game one with 20 seconds off on the clock. We can already see that the Saints are bringing the heat. Right now, we got Vesh on the sidewall. Lunar trying to center it up, but Spoots taking that one. Spoots, MVP of the Saints team this year after the uh, banquet yesterday, declared and crowned. It was a lovely night indeed. And we see C Money trying to get that out of Christian's hands, but he's going to be able to swipe past two, winning two 50s in a row, but it's going to get stolen off of Spoots. Vesh is going to get that save, though. Recentering it back over into the corner. This is going to give the Saints some time to kind of get it out, clear it, just like Vesh did right Right now and hopefully try to set themselves up for a goal. Yeah, that was a good uh, clearance there from the Saints, able to withstand University of Mississippi's attack. But yet again, they're going to be on the attack. Is it going to be a shot on target coming out? It's going to be right off the crossbar. Luckily for the Saints, it won't be a goal there early. No contest coming through on that shot. As now Saints are going to get the clearance. Christian going to look to give it up to a teammate, but Lunar is going to give that one up to Stealth. Can Stealth find the pass over to C Money? We'll look for it. Vesh doesn't get a touch there, so C Money will have control over it. Pass over to Lunar, but a great save from Christian there. Keep us, keeping Saints afloat as they look to go on the counterattack. Christian is going to get his attack stop. Spoo's going to lose out that 50 to Stealth as Lunar will find that pass up to Stealth. Can Stealth find a pass to a teammate here? No, Spoo's is going to be there for a crucial touch as the cross into the middle doesn't find too much. Vesh going to find a clearance over to Christian, but see money is there yet again as University of Mississippi definitely playing with a lot more aggression here, yeah. trying to be in the Saints half as much as possible. Yeah, and they're really succeeding in it and it's paying dividends. As you can see, they've already gotten so many shots off on the Saints side of things. They're completely suffocating their offense or suffocating the Saints offense by just completely overwhelming their defense. The Saints don't really have a chance to kind of make any plans to get things forward, but spontaneity plays a role in this game as well. The Saints are able to make a break out of their net and get it close 
closer to University of Mississippi's net as well. But it's going to get really fought back over to the Saints side. But a long shot coming out from Christian. Obviously going to get saved up by Stealth. We are playing with the big boys now. Shots like that aren't going to find their way into the net. But with 2 minutes and 30 seconds-ish left on the clock, no goals going to this one. I don't know, Theo. I told you guys this, this series is going to be hard fought. I can definitely see that playing out right now. Without a doubt, it's going to be University of Mississippi. Definitely playing with a bit more confidence and aggression. First but demo. Christian's going to find a demo onto Stealth, which will give Saints a good a bit of room yeah. to work with. But Lunar instantly going to take down Christian. So both Apparently. teams battling it out. C-Money going to get a demo as well onto Vesh. Can University of Mississippi find anything on the attack here? Beautiful move Ooh. there from Lunar. Ooh. But all three members from Saints making sure they're there to defend that one. You can see really Saints. Oh. Okay, over committee on the defense, but it's going to be a very dangerous chance here from Stealth. Just not able to get a touch. Their Saints are still holding on for dear life, but they need to get something going on the offensive end if they want to win this game. Holding on forever. Eventually, University of Mississippi might find a breakthrough as they find yet another shot near the net. Their Spoods will find a clearance, but C-Money is in the perfect spot. Stealth going to find a demo onto Christian. That leads to a shot on target, oh, but Vesh, perfect defense coming out from him as well. As finally, Saints have a bit of Time to recuperate here, oh. but C Money yet again gonna pass that down to Lunar Spoo's not gonna be able to find touch okay. there, but finds the save onto C Money there, flying in from nowhere. The demo comes out as well. Saints have an open just like that on the counter attack. The way they love to play are gonna get the first goal of the game and give themselves a lead. My lordy, lordy, lord indeed, Theo. We are really seeing what the Saints are capable of here. Like I mentioned, I can't overstate it, how incredible the coordination and tactics the Saints have had to make that successful against a team of this caliber. Very well played by the Saints. And you can definitely tell that this team is 100% a unit on the same page, working as a squad. And it's a beautiful sight to see for sure. You can always tell by how this team looks at each other, talks to each other that they are really synced up and it's very it's very obvious when they're on the field as well with one minute remaining the Saints just have to hold their lead and in fact they're looking to do a little bit more than just that bringing the ball over back to University of Mississippi side but it's gonna get shot over towards them Christian with the save here repositioning it centering it back up Christian and Vesh looking to go for something here Spoon oh the back line and Vesh finds another cheeky shot and that one actually lands in what an incredible play by the Saints a very simple goal here from Vesh nobody's on him as he just gets the shot over C money Saints Saints should be wrapping this game up. Still far from over with 45 seconds over. left. Let's see how this kickoff goes. But both goals for the Saints here have come on the counter attack. That's the way they love to play this as yet another one's going to wow. come in. Vesh going to pick up his second of the game. Give Saints a 3-0 lead. Looks like University of Mississippi just kind of falling apart here towards the end. Stealth going to look for the save there, but Vesh finds the bump midair. Beautiful play from him as this should more than certainly wrap up this first game. It's moments like this, I got to think, like, what would Patrick say, you know, what, what would Patrick say about that? And I, I can't even imagine how excited he'd be in a situation like this, so I can only try to channel a fraction of his energy and passion for Rocket League. They're going in 30 seconds oh, remaining. Saints up 3-0, but in Rocket League, a lot can happen in 30 seconds, okay? And that's one thing I've learned in my short, short career here at St. Clair College, never to count out any team playing in NACE. So, University of Mississippi has 15 seconds to make something happen, but the Saints are definitely doing their best to make sure that doesn't happen. Another remaining. one. This might even be another goal for the oh. Saints. Just off the mark slightly. You don't want to uh, pat your stats too much. That looks suspicious. Okay, so we're going to be going three seconds away from the Saints taking game one against the University of Mississippi. Yeah, Saints going to take the 1-0 lead here. Great start for them in the series. It looked a bit shaky in the first maybe three and a half minutes as they couldn't get anything going on the offense, but just one mistake from University of Mississippi where they got counterattacked, the demo came out, Saints had open goal that really got the ball flowing for the side of the Saints. Yeah, once they got the momentum going, it really was like a ball rolling. Couldn't think of a better analogy. <laughs> you know I love my puns and wordplay, so I'm going to steal that one from you. They really got the ball rolling down the hill. It's like it had rockets on it or something, and they're playing in this league, and they want to make sure that they win this one as definitively as possible. And that, I think, is a very strong statement. 3-0 in the first game. They are the underdogs in this series. I'm very excited to see what game two has to bring for us. Yeah, I mean, that's the way the Saints like to play. They love playing that counterattack. We usually won't see them uh, just full on attack, attack, double, yeah, triple commit sure. here. They, they like playing slower back and waiting for their opponents to make mistakes because mm -hmm. they're so good in that defense. They're able to make sure that no mistakes comes through. You'll see the triple commits coming out just against one person to make sure the ball just can't come in 
through a tight space and get inside the net. So Saints making sure they lock down defensively. That's going to be a huge part of this uh, for the rest of the series if they want to come out on top. Yeah, and like I said, I'm very excited to see what Game 2 has to offer. So as we head into this one, I want to see how University of Mississippi is going to be able to adjust and adapt to how that first game went. The Saints, like you said, they kind of played patiently, played on the back foot, and allowed University of Mississippi to kind of fall over themselves a little bit and find these opportunities to get those goals. Like you said, they, they will triple commit. They won't hesitate to really just go down onto someone and just completely harass them. The aggression that you can see. I remember one moment there I saw Vesh just kind of pestering somebody on the wall, knocking yeah. them over. But as we're getting into game two here, University of Mississippi is going to have to figure out exactly how they're going to play this next one as the Saints are looking to take another game. With we're starting off with 4 minutes 50 seconds on the clock. Stealth pouring his way into that corner there, but two Saints, three now. Triple commit com potentially, but centering it now. The rest of the University of Mississippi is going to find their way over to the ball and coordinate back an offensive push. But Christian and Spoods over in the corner, they're going to try to center it. In fact, it's going right down the middle, straight towards the net, but Simon is going to intercept the pass that was going the way of Christian Vesh now on the back line, trying to get this one pushed back up into the center, but Christian's going to be the one to get that out. It's going to bounce off into the corner. Vesh looking to shoot that one off there, it bounces off, but C Money's gonna be able to intercept that one, and Vesh is gonna get demoed in the meantime. And now it's gonna be a nice attack for University of Mississippi. Vesh getting back, respawning, getting that save off, but Stealth gonna have a oh, shot on ooh. target. Vesh yet again playing the goalkeeper part perfectly. Not somewhere you see him too often. Usually he's up there finding the goals, but he needs great defense there and is able to find it as another clearance comes out for University of Mississippi. Spoo's now gonna be able to start the attack here, but C Money is gonna find a crucial stop there. Vesh yet again finding a save as Spoo's is going to bring oh, it up the field here for the Saints. Stealth is going to get a touch though. So Saints not going to overcommit here. Going to draw back against Spoods. Going to find that 50 in the air there. Vesh going to get a crucial touch now. But C Money flies in out of nowhere to get the clearance. The shot's going to be on target. But Christian with a lot of time to find the save there will be able to do so. Spoods trying to just clear it up. But nobody's going to be there. Christian is going to leave that one for Vesh. But Stealth actually going to go on the attack here. As uh -oh. the shot comes out against Spoods, going to find the saves. As you see, these Saints are able to find the saves here. But University of Mississippi definitely playing a lot more aggressive. Let's see if Saints can yet again capitalize on a mistake. And capitalize on a mistake might be the uh, an understatement here as the Saints took that offensive push and completely turned it into a momentum push for them now. Christian does not want to let that get over to Blue's side. Going to be able to swipe that one right back into their favor. Spoon's oh, going to spend this one. That's a shot, in fact, and that's a goal! Turning, uh, like I said, a push from University of Mississippi into a goal for yourselves. The Saints are on a tear right now, and Spoon's showing why he deserves that MVP position. And you can see the Saints are playing the patient game. University of Mississippi overcommit there have nobody back and it's a very very simple goal for the Saints just a tap in from about three quarters of the field they will happily take a 1-0 lead here in game two but they're gonna keep up the aggression one thing we've seen so far from University of Mississippi they're not scared to go on the attack they're not scared to give it they're also still with a lot of time to play here this game is far far from over but Saints getting off to that early start is gonna be great for them yet again see if C money can get anything done on the attack here and just like that gonna find it over the defender pass over to stealth in the middle and a very nice team goal coming out from University of Mississippi everyone playing their role as they're able to tie up the game at one apiece yeah you can kind of see there that what went wrong for the Saints was uh, there was a little bit of an engagement over in the corner two of them were off chasing the ball left one behind and he was really the only one that could answer the shot coming back from that corner oh. so they kind of played cat and mouse and then made them bite their own tail instead so the Saints kind of making a folly there but 1-1 one, one now two and a half minutes remaining as we're getting into the second half of game two Saints are gonna have to find out what's making the University of Mississippi Mississippi tick here and figure out how they can completely shut it down stealth oh. and the rest of the University of Mississippi trying to find the ball here but Vesh is the one in possession right now so oh. waiting for him on the backside but he might not even need to no it's gonna get saved up by stealth Spoos looking for that rebound oh. coming Who's around but Christian Vesh and Spoos they're playing conservative here they really could have committed for that one yeah. but it's not worth the risk if they got that one messed up that would have been undoubtedly a goal for University of Mississippi communication is key here and the Saints are demonstrating that in spades here stealth now on the corner see money getting the demo onto Vesh Saints gonna have to play a little bit more carefully now with their one man down but see money cradling the ball in the corner here but Spoots is gonna steal that one Christian with the follow-up steal and Vesh with the oh, ultimate steal Christian. all passing it over to the Christian to the open net gonna rebound it off the wall Spoots leading to Spoots gonna send it over to the corner Vesh waiting for 
for him, but it's getting intercepted by Lunar. They're, they're sending Christian back to defend the net. Spoods and Vesh are going to be chasing this one right into the corner. University of Mississippi, they're like sharks in the water, completely surrounding the Saints, making them swim for their lives. But Spoods is going to find this one off the ceiling. Christian's going to get the demo of his career. And Christian now going to be trying to get this one towards the center. But Vesh fighting for it still in the net. Spoods there to follow up after that missed shot. Now the Saints are going to try to coordinate an offense push here. They have a minute left to make this work, and they finally got it cleared. Can they find a goal with one minute on the clock? There's going to be another demo coming out. Stealth going to have a shot opportunity, but it won't be on a target. Vesh going to find it turns out off sea money. Great gameplay from both teams here. So many opportunities, but perfect gameplay from both sides, making sure they score. Stealth tied up at one. 45 seconds remaining. It looks like Saints are going to have an opportunity here on the attack. Vesh will get it cleared up by sea money, but the shot oh. is going to come out from oh! all fields. Beyond the grave! Christian in the University of Mississippi yet again call lacking a St. Clair College take a 2-1 lead. That was beautiful. Christian, Christian, Christian. The angels are smiling down upon him from the heavens. My man there, he's doing great things. Love the guy and I'm very happy to see that goal coming out from him now. But 35 seconds remaining, two to one. The Saints are fighting for their lives here. And if they can take this game two, they'd be on a very nice path to victory to take the series. It would still be a long road to go, but it'll definitely feel a lot easier to do when you're up two games. Without a doubt, they can't lose focus here with 18 seconds left. Just trying to deny University of Mississippi to getting a shot on top. Christian gonna find the clear there. Gonna go up for that 50, but Stealth will be there. Vesh though, gonna just control that one low and gonna hold it, take it over one defender. Lunar is gonna find the touch, but if Spoots can clear this one out, that could be all she wrote. Two seconds left, all the Saints need to do is just spike it down. But University of Mississippi are gonna have one final attack. Let's see if Vesh can do anything. No, Lunar is gonna be able to keep that one up. Passes it over to Stealth. Gonna Christian's gonna go up for the engage alongside Spoots. That's gonna be all she wrote. Saints gonna win that one 2 1, and they're gonna take a 2 0 lead in the series. Absolutely, that was a very very well played game I really got to say that was I'm starting to feel it yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. with so much on the line here again single elimination best of seven you, all you can do is play and you're you're really fighting with your back against the wall again the Saints underdogs in this series not favored to win this one but so far they're proving that sometimes numbers do lie to you. yeah numbers sometimes do lie but something that don't lie is the Saints are up 2-0 in a very very good True. spot now put themselves in a prime position to win this series and I think it's off the back of their defense that second game as well they both of their goals kind of came at random timings but it was through that great defensive play that kind of caused the the misplays from the other team and it, it set them up for success yeah I gotta say I'm, I'm really starting to appreciate Rocket League a little bit now like the way like a goal like the, the first goal coming up from Spoots there something like that would not be possible if it wasn't for constant communication and coordination because like we mentioned before there are a lot of opportunities the Saints really could have been aggressive but watching them restrain themselves and seeing that they're really making sure that they're playing at 100%. They're not losing anything out. They're not missing any opportunities, and they're not giving any opportunities at the same time. So a shot like that is, has to come off of, like you said, great defensive play, first of all. You know, that came off of an attempted goal from University of Mississippi, and then they passed it straight up, and not only did he know he was going to be there in time for it, they probably told him where to go, when to be there, and he was already there in the perfect opportunity to go for it, and University of Mississippi was not in the opportunity to defend it. So it takes so many things to make a moment like that go well. But as I'm finishing up my yap session here, we're going to be getting into game three. Going to see and a very early oh, goal. I have I have <laughs> nothing to say. That's I mean I, wow. They're I mean, really looking to wrap this one up, aren't they? Double commit that comes out from University of Mississippi. Vesh says thank you very much. Great play from Spoos there as well to get away from two defenders. As Saints putting on the pressure. University of Mississippi, no, they're the favorites. No, that it's single elimination. And they're going to oh! instantly get one back. Oh! Some miscommunication comes out from Gotta the Saints this time. What a crazy start here. Two game three. Lunar <gasps> just at the perfect spot. Gets the light tap. And Vesh was off to the side getting that early boost. So was Spoods. So they're not in time to defend. Just like that, we're tied up by one. What's going on here? <laughs> that was awesome. I was just about to say, I completely love and respect the way University of Mississippi is playing this series. Like we mentioned, the Saints are playing so well on the defensive. And of course, University of Mississippi is as well. But I really respect that even though, in, especially in game one, where there were down points, they didn't let up at all. They kept that aggression going. And we can see in that 
goal right there. It pays off in opportunities like that. Oh. Christian, oh my lord, I can't imagine oh, it's going wrong, but see money proving me incorrect. I thought that was a surefire sinker, but gonna be able to get that save. What a damn play from C Money. Incredible. But now the Saints are looking for another opportunity to try to make that go right this time. Oh, but Fesh oh what the very cheeky slap back up, uh, getting it out of C Money's way, but it's not gonna go their way completely. Spoo's now trying to get this one towards the center. Cradling it up, waiting for a teammate, but it's gonna get slapped down by Lunar. Trying to see if anything else can go right for him here. Christian bouncing it back at the Spoos, but just missing a little bit. Or was that planned? Find out more <laughs> as we head into this next play. Is now Spoos going back to the net with Christian and Vesh backing him up. They're really just playing the field right now and making sure that University of Mississippi is gonna have to struggle and fight for each goal that they're gonna try going for. They want to make sure that the Saints are just kind of they're playing. I'm um, gonna use fighting game terminology right now. They're gonna play. They're playing neutral right now. They're just playing, they're playing the space. They're oh. zoning them right now. But University of Mississippi, they're getting aggressive. They're trying to find their way in and cause oh. some damage. Just like the goal from C-Money, they find an opening. They go from it. Beautiful play from C-Money from that incredible save earlier on to a goal right now. Oh. Very Couldn't nice. ask for anything else. A nice play there from C-Money getting his own uh, pass there off the top of the net and just finish that one off for the first time in this series University of Mississippi lead Let's see if Saints have a re Oh a my god and see money instantly off the kickoff yet again <laughs> gonna find the goal as Lunar is this guy? Makes so much space bump spoos there to make sure see money will have a very easy shot Lunar gonna fake the touch there as well University University of Mississippi take a 3-1 lead still three minutes to go though So let's see if our Saints can put on the pressure they won't be able to afford to be playing too passive for the rest of this game as they need to get back into this one. They're going to start off early, but the ball's going to end up in their half again. Could have been another maybe early goal, but Spoods going to clear that one out. See money now. Going to go for an attack, but Spoods is there yet again. Going to take it around the couple. Lunar, though. Going to pass oh. over to Stealth, but Christian is there in the air. We definitely see University of Mississippi still being the aggressors, even being up two goals. They love putting on the pressure from the look of things as they're finally going to go for a reset here, but they have a lot of time to play with Spoods. Doesn't get a touch onto that one. C Money finds the demo onto Vesh, forces Christian to make that save. Spoods gonna find a touch there as well and is gonna bounce it off C Money. But this is good for University of Mississippi. They're just burning a lot of time off the clock. 100%, you know, like, a, oh no, this is devastating now. We're getting a, uh, we're getting a little bit of a mirror of the first game for the Saints. Uh, University of Mississippi up now 4 to 1 over St. Clair College, and they're doing it very impressively so far. It's a very good play coming out from University of Mississippi. It's gonna net them their fourth goal in this series. But right now, the Saints are still in this one with two minutes left. I always say a lot can happen in a couple of seconds in Rocket League. You got a lot to work with in two minutes as well. Without a doubt, let's see if Saints can pick it up a notch here. But in this third game, University of Mississippi have definitely figured out a game plan against that Saints defensive plot play style. They've been able to score a couple goals off the kickoffs and even an open play score a couple. So definitely their best game of the series is so far, but it's still far from over. Christian Ooh. very easily will pick up a goal, I want to say. Kind of looked like there was no University of Mississippi players even close to him. He just took it up the side sideline and shot at Lunar you could see trying to fly <laughs> in there alongside Vesh too. maybe they, they got a bump in there but a very nice goal for the Saints and with two minutes left still a lot of time to go to get a couple more back maybe Vesh felt a little bad there he's like oh we can't make it look this easy he's got to interfere with Christian but oh that could have been bad a little bit of a reach oh. spoons no oh. chance okay my eyes are deceiving me there I really thought that was guaranteed to go in there but spoons oh. Christian with the offense pressure Vesh? Vesh okay that was close too it's getting scary for University of Mississippi yeah. The Saints are kind of taking the weights off of their ankles and Vesh. are going full speed ahead. Vesh almost oh, snapping that one in. Oh. Almost winning the 50, but Christian, they're not going to let up on the pressure. They're keeping it going. Oh, the Vesh. The gas That's is 100. Three to four. Now the Saints are looking to tie this one up. University of Mississippi just looked like they have completely crumbled in this last minute. Saints getting another goal here with so many opportunities. And with a minute 18 left, they're definitely putting on the pressure here. If they go up 3-0 in this series, that's going to be a huge, huge swing of events. Let's see how the kickoff goes. Saints not going to win this one too early on. Vesh will have to control this one. Saints still have a lot of time to work with, but C-Money is going to find a challenge there. It's going to be cleared out, though, 
Bash and Stealth gonna go for 50-50 there. Christian's gonna win that one. That shot's heading towards the net. Lunar gonna find a crucial touch over to C-Money. Who's gonna look to look for Stealth, but won't be able to find it just yet. Now Stealth gonna get some control of it with one minute remaining. Besh gonna kick that one up to Spoods. Spoods gonna miss on that one. Besh though will find a touch there. Lunar does demo him out, which will give University of Mississippi some more time to work with. But you can see Saints definitely the aggressors here with 40 seconds left. University of Mississippi just looking to hold on, but Stealth finds an opportunity, finds a shot on target. Vesh gonna find that clearance. Christian gonna find the pass over to Vesh, uh -huh. but the clearance comes out from Lunar yet again. Now Spoods gonna find a pass over to Christian. Back up to Spoods maybe, but no. It's cleared out yet again by C Money, who's definitely been the star player for University of Mississippi here in this third game, but Spoods finding a demo and with 20 seconds left, it's gonna be one more attack for the Saints here, but that's a crucial mistake coming out oh, from them, and that's gonna be the beautiful. fifth goal. That's gonna be the nail in the coffin as University of Mississippi should be able to take this third game home. Absolutely, like you said, C-Money doing so much work here in this game three, but Stealth as well, doing an incredible job. And obviously, I feel, I'm shouting each individual player out, but honestly, Lunar too, the whole <laughs> team, they're all playing so well together. I feel like the roles have kind of reversed in this oh. game three. Saints playing an insane offense in this last half in the University of Mississippi. Oh, showing. wait. Okay. Wait a second. Hold on. Dio. Six seconds. Do you believe in fate? I, I believe in a lot of things, actually. <laughs> Do you believe that Saints are going to get this next goal, though? I mean, anything's possible. Anything Six seconds. is possible with these last seconds remaining. Can the Saints tie this one up? They're going for it 100%. All gas going into this one. Lunar no, setting it straight it. down, though. Yeah. Very well played by both teams here, especially, of course, to University of Mississippi, able to steal that game from the jaws of defeat and then making sure that they just cemented the victory in the last few seconds there. So close near the end there. Saves actually managed to, well, they wouldn't tie it up if University of Mississippi didn't get that last goal. So yeah. very well played by both teams. And you can, like I said, it's going to be close one way or the other, and I'm not wrong. That was a nine-goal banger of a game three. Both teams definitely getting a bit more, I would say, comfortable uh, playing against their opponents, finding mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what makes the other team make those mistakes that lead to these simple goals. But we also saw some beautiful mechanics coming up from both sides to find some goals. So that was, that was a great uh, game three, and I think if that's how the series is going to go, it's going to be a fun one. Absolutely, Theo. I, I'm really excited to see how these teams are going to take this next one. We're heading into game four, two to one right now for the Saints. But again, first to four takes the series. There's still a lot more Rocket League to be played. Even if the Saints win this next one, they still have one more to take the series. University of Mississippi, of course, they have three more to take it. But like I was saying just a little bit before the end of that one, I feel like the roles kind of switched there. The Saints were really showing us how good they are in the defense earlier in the series. But as it really came down to the wire, they're showing us how vicious they really can be if they have to. Uh, same thing for um, University of Mississippi, kind of showing how aggressive they were earlier on, but they really showed how tight their defense is near the second half of that last game. But as we're going into game four here, we're going to see whose strategy is going to ultimately triumph as we're wrap it, trying to wrap up this series. But uh, oh, whoa, 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 what? Okay. <laughs> All right. Everybody calm down. <laughs> Everyone, calm down. <laughs> Everyone calm down. Let's not get too hasty here. Oh, what a save again from oh Besh, but God. the follow-up. Okay. You can't do it three times in a row. You can't get a goal hat trick or a save hat trick. See money going to be able to finally send that one in. The Saints kind of lost control for a little bit there and weren't able to recover in time to stop the pressure from mounting on. So they get the first one here, but the Saints are looking to fight back and fight back hard. Vesh kind of stealing that one up, sending it to the corner where Spoots is waiting. Not going to catch that one, but Christian is setting it straight into oh. the net, but it's going to get bounced off the post there Spoods as well gonna be just faking them out that was a really good fake out that the Saints did there seeing if they can try to go for it again but they're all kind of bunched up in this corner here thankfully Vesh steals that out of the corner otherwise it would have been quite disastrous if University of Mississippi was able to get it through but Christian with the save here getting it out but it's gonna get sent right back in Vesh is gonna intercept that however and send it the way University of Mississippi gonna take it over to the corner now trying to get it off the wall to allow Christian Spoods. or Spoods to send this one up but Vesh gonna try to stuff the save but it's not gonna go his way now they're gonna have have to play off of the defensive opportunities here as Lunar goes straight for the net. Spoos and Christian waiting to get this one up. Vesh on the back line. C Money trying to take it right back over to the Saints net. But Vesh is going to get a beautiful interception, sending it flying straight back. But Lunar is going to be able to catch the rebound here. Going to be trying to get it into the corner. Christian waiting for 
for it. Trying to get it clear. Oh well, he's going to get demoed. Vesh, Re Revenge. He's going to send it forward. All of University of Mississippi is kind of clustered together here. That's a great opportunity for the Saints to reposition Vesh. and get the ball. Vesh is taking them all into this net here. He's like a magnet to these cars, and they're going to be forced to attack him. Spoods now waiting for Stealth to kind of drop the ball literally here. Vesh is going to steal it out. However, though, going to try to get it back into play. Christian now going to be in the corner as well. Spoods and Vesh on the back line, seeing if they can center it up for Christian. He's going to get demoed mid-air, oh. but his life, his sacrifice was not in vain as it almost presented an opportunity for the Saints. And as he respawns, he's going to be able to send it right back over to University of Mississippi. We're almost at two and a half minutes left in this first half of game four. Can either team find a breakaway to take this series? Yeah, University of Mississippi doing a great job of making sure they don't make mistakes. The Saints have been putting on the pressure here. Vesh going to go for the attack, but nice defense yet again. University of Mississippi is now Saints are forced to back up. Christian going to be forced to make a pretty routine save there and might be able to win the 50 with Stealth, who's going to pass it back to Lunar. So University of Mississippi having the attack here. Simon, he's going to look for a pass to himself there, but great defense from Spoods. Denies that one now. Christian going to look for a clearance, but Lunar finds it there. Vesh going to have to find the save again. Is able to find it. Stealth, though, going to go for an attack, but now Spoods will be there to counter that one out. Simon will shoot it up the field as Vesh will be able to find some control. Saints yet again going to look to attack. Beautiful Ooh. team play from them there, but Stealth going to find the save on to Vesh there. Nice try there from the Saints on the counter-attack. This time, University of Mississippi are ready for it. They're able to find the perfect defensive play. Spoods though, yet again, gonna look for something here. Lunar will be able to clear that one out. Can Vesh find a pass to a team here? Simone, gonna contest that one. It's gonna drop down quickly. Vesh gonna find yet another touch there, but Stealth will be able to co control that one. And now it's University of Mississippi back on the counter-attack. Christian We'll be able to find a save. A lot less goals in this one than last one, but still a lot of action going on. And speaking oh, of a lot of action, okay. beautiful team play from both Spoos and Christian finding the bumps as Christian is able to just walk up the field. Look at Vesh there finding the bump on C Money. Lunar does Ooh. go for the demo, but then Vesh is there to escort the ball into the net. Saints, just like that, tied up at one. What an incredible team. Again, I gotta re-emphasize how coordinated these guys are when it comes to Rocket League. It's like three heat-seeking missiles communicating information back and forth instantaneously it really is an incredible thing to witness and I feel lucky to be witnessing it with all of you guys here but with one minute 20 seconds remaining we're tied up somebody's gonna have to win this game but the, whoever it's gonna be they're gonna have to show us that they really oh. want it because right now both teams are putting up an incredible amount of fight here as a shot gets saved out in an incredible fashion by Spoots Vesh gonna intercept that shot by C Money Christian in the corner gonna get a bump interception Vesh taking it over to the corner now of Orange side. University of Mississippi going to be able to clear it back over to Blue. Spood's going to take that one out. Lunar's not going to get possession until just now, but Chris is going to steal that one out as well. Vesh waiting for that clear. Going to get it set. Rolling over! And that's going to go straight in! Oh my god! I don't think even they saw that one coming because Vesh, I felt he was passing it, but that's just a clean shot right into the net. Stealth just over or slightly underestimating yeah. Maybe the speed trajectory, underestimating something about that goal there, not able to save that one out. Yeah, beautiful play there from Avesh, and he's going to give Saints a 2-1 lead with 40 seconds left here. Can the Saints hold on and put themselves on match point? We know University of Mississippi are going to press hard. Can Saints find that third goal to put the nail in the coffin? Stealth and C-Money, though, great team play from them, but the shot isn't going to be anywhere near the net. Avesh will find the save. Ball's in a very beautiful. dangerous opportunity there for University of Mississippi, but the clearance will come out from the Saints. It's going to be one final attack here coming out from University of Mississippi. That ball's going to drop right from the net, but C-Money won't be able to find the finish. And with 10 seconds left now, it's going to be Dear a Lord. miracle coming out from University of Mississippi. C-Money oh, oh, will find it. No way! way! Over to Lunar, and with six seconds left, they catch Saints off guard, and they find the game time goal. Let's see yet again. Christian looking for the clearance. C-Money's there. Besh isn't in the net. Neither is Spoots. Could see no boost for the side of the Saints, and that's the main reason of why University of Mississippi are able to tie this one up at two. A miracle was needed, a miracle was found. Five seconds left, 
more than likely we're going to be going through an overtime. This isn't even the last game. Uh -oh. This is just game four. A shot made, a shot missed. We're going to be going straight into this next overtime. 2-2. First team to score takes the game. Who is it going to be? St. Clair College versus University of Mississippi. Christian intercepting, but Vesh is going to have to save that one. Lunar able to fake him out just a little bit there. Stealth taking it over to the corner. Seamon, he's going to intercept. Spoods waiting for that rebound. Going to center it up, flying up into the corner. Christian and Vesh going to go straight forward, but nobody's off the back line. Spoods is going to set himself into the net like a missile. Beautifully done. Going to be waiting for that defensive play, uh -oh. but no one's going to be able to save it. Stealth is going to be able to send it straight from the ceiling into the net. And University of Mississippi, 24 seconds into the overtime, are going to be able to tie this series up 2-2 against St. Clair College. Yeah, you can see Spoods trying to get the one-on-one -on -one save there, but great play from Stealth. Out maneuvers him there on the goal line. Saints really that, letting that one slip away from them there. Six more seconds they have to hold on to take the game, but just like that, we're going to be tied up at two games apiece here in the series from what looked like a great start for the Saints on University of Mississippi. Really have got themselves back in the series, and now it's the best of three. I can't believe it. Like, uh, they really, <laughs> six seconds on the clock. I I, I have no words to you. That was just such a well-played effort from University of Mississippi, and they, like I said, we're going to see who's going to want this game more, and in that one, it was definitely University of Mississippi. Very, very well played. Like I said, my both teams were heading into game five. First team to four wins is going to take the series. We're tied up 2-2, and based off of what we've been seeing so far, I know we're in for a lot more intensity as we're going into game five. We're going to see if either team can get an early goal like both of them have demonstrated or they're more than capable of so far. Christian going to be taking out of the corner. Lunar going to try to catch that one out, but Vesh intercepting, rebounding as well. Trying to set it up for Christian, bouncing it forwards, but no one's going to be able to follow up. Vesh is going to have to follow up off of his own pass. Unfortunately, it's not going to go his way. A demo is going to get traded out. They both demoed each other. Incredible passion from both players. Vesh now taking it into his own hands. Going to try to get that one up, but it's going to get intercepted by University of Mississippi. Christian and Spoo's on the back line. Vesh at the front. They're going to see if they can get a pass up to him because that would be such a good opportunity for a goal. There's a lot of aggression coming out from University of Mississippi. Lunar in the corner uh, on their side. Christian's going to be holding it, but Vesh, if only Lunar wasn't there. If only Christian still had it, but Spoons with the lob, trying to get that one in, but it's going to get intercepted by C-Money. Going to be curling it forward, but Christian oh, demo. and a demo. Lunar's going to be out of this for a couple of seconds here, but Spoons and the rest of the Saints are going to be looking and maintaining their composure. They don't want to go anything too aggressive or to go too hard for anything here, because that's how you open yourself up to mistakes. Yeah, with a minute gone by here, no super early goals. So both teams definitely locking a little bit here in this game five. Shot on target, gonna come out. Christian gonna find a pretty standard save there. Spoo's gonna look to take it around. Lunar, but Lunar finds a great interception there, but nobody from his team is there to follow up as Christian's gonna be able to find the clearance here. Stealth though, gonna win that 50. They're forcing Spoo's to clear that one out. Lunar is now gonna go for an attack yet again. Gonna go solo off the crossbar. Stealth is there for the follow, but Christian does find the save. Very dangerous opportunity early on for University of Mississippi, but they are still going C money. Gonna look for a shot on target, but no power behind that one. Should be quite an easy clearance for the Saints, but Vesh does get demoed out, so that's gonna slow down the Saints counterattack. Now C money and Lunar gonna try and get some teamwork going here as Lunar is gonna look to pass it over yet again, but Vesh makes the perfect decision there in the 1v2, is able to find the saves, and with three minutes to go, both these teams looking so locked in in this game five. Let's see who's gonna be able to find the early the edge early on here, Besh is on his low. Some can start the attack here for the Saints. Actually, gonna back off of that one. Let Stealth be the aggressor. He's gonna take it around it, but Christian now gonna find it. Gonna look to take it around. See money there. Who finds a crucial touch, but now Spoods will be able to oh. kick it up. Stealth will be there for the save. Any follow through from the Saints? No, won't be there. So we're halfway through this game. Neither team can find an edge. Vesh in the corner, not gonna let University of Mississippi find this one for free. Christian Spoods, they're all in the net, but even so, it's still scary. Christian vying for that clear. He's gonna get half of it as it's still in their side. But Vesh really getting aggressive for this one. The net's slightly open, but I'm sure by now Spoods is waiting in the corner. But no, he's actually on the offensive, and Christian's gonna be able to get that one cleared. Spoods is gonna be the one trying to chase it down. Vesh is gonna hopefully intercept this one, but Christian's actually gonna take initiative here. Gonna take this one out. Vesh gonna send this flying down the center. Gonna 
Gonna try to cradle it, but Spoos is gonna be on the ground to pick that one up. Sea Money going to intercept successfully. Christian now languishing in despair, trying to find any opportunity to take this one back to the net, but it's already too late. Lunar's gonna be taking this one over the state side in the corner. Vesh is gonna have to try to get this one out. Spoos is waiting on the side of University of Mississippi, trying to get aggressive. Oh, Vesh is gonna go for a beautiful shot, but Sea Money in there with eyes open and heart beating fast, able to take that one clean and easy. Vesh and Saints are gonna be trying to take this one down now. Spoods in the corner, trying to get the clear stealth. He's gonna miss that one, a lost 50. Spoods the king of 50s, it seems. Vesh is gonna be trying to get that shot going, but it's not gonna be that easy. Christian and the rest of the Saints are all committing for this one. Spoods slightly back, gonna be able to take anything if anything gets Saint over, uh, but Vash is gonna have to take over off Spoods responsibility, but he's gonna get demoed now. Christian is gonna be playing the defensive role as Vesh responds with that beautiful bump. This might have just saved the Saints' is behind here as Vesh and Spoods and Christian, they're all in front of the net. Oh just my. playing so desperately, but Vesh coming off as Christian was still stumbling in front of the ball. That could have been disastrous for the Saints, Vesh. but thankfully they were able to coordinate a successful save. Christian now in the center and stealth. It's like I said, it's a bunch of heat seeking missiles instantly communicating and coordinating. Oh, two on one. My target, but it's a two on one that Spoods doesn't even care about. Gonna get the save of his life here in this game five. Christian is gonna get that clear, but he's gonna lose his life for it. Spoods is just gonna miss that interception, but Vesh is going to be the iron wall that keeps him going. And 30 seconds left in the clock. Theo, how do you see this one going as it almost goes the way of the Saints? Vesh is still fighting for this one, but Spoos is going to fight so hard for it. With 20 seconds remaining, uh, Christian's going to go for the save. Uh -oh. It's so close, but Vesh oh in the net. The interception is going to get saved. Oh. Vesh taking it over to the corner. They're going to get an interception. This might be a zero goal overtime, but Christian with a long shot trying to find something. Luna's going to intercept it and C Money's gonna go for a long shot as well, but Smooth and Vesh are gonna be able to save this one pretty easily. It's gonna go That's over it. the University of Mississippi, <laughs> but the spike, we're gonna be going into overtime with no goals, Theo. Yeah, again, Lord. We're going into overtime back to back games here. Let's see if Saints can come out on top this time. Both teams just playing great defense. We even saw a double goalkeeper commit from University of Mississippi, which we haven't seen at all this year. Is that C Money is gonna find a demo to Spoods early. That's gonna give uh, University of Mississippi a little bit of momentum to work with as he's gonna find the pass over to Stealth, but Lunar's going to be at the back of that one. Actually, Stealth is going to win that 50 over there. Vesh going to look to pass it back up to Christian. Can he find the pass over to Spoods? Going to look for it, but University of Mississippi are there in time. As Saints are going to back up here. Vesh going to try and pass it back over to Spoods here. He's going to pick up that... Uh, boost there and it's going to have the ball possession in the back here but nice contest from University of Mississippi forces out Saints yet again who are going to be, have to be careful around their net here now one goal is all it takes for either team to take this one home Christian going to look for a demo there not able to find it onto Lunar this is going to be an opportunity for University of Mississippi Smooth's going to find the save there Vesh is there to help him out as well but Sea Money uh -oh. going to steal that one away Christian going to find a crucial touch so Lunar is not going to be able to follow up there and now the counter attack starts for the Saints but Stealth is able to stop it in their tracks immediately Sea Money now going to have to find a pass here to someone takes it over one defender but Vesh and Christian there on the double commit making sure no mistakes can be made Stealth and Christian going to have a 50-50 there in the air Vesh going to respawn at the perfect spot but will lose out that 50 to Lunar who's going to look for a pass maybe to a teammate here off the back here is there going to be any follow up from University Mississippi, no it won't be. Now Christian will start the attack on his lonesome stealth. We'll just clear that one now. Take it up in the air here. Will there be anyone there to contest him? Vesh will have full control of the ball here as both teams look to sell down. A minute 40 still. No real chances in this overtime. Not a lot of chances indeed. I feel like these teams are just trying to make a statement here that this series is going to be very, very, very close indeed as we're now tied up in the series and tied up in a no oh, no overtime. But a missed opportunity just bouncing off that poster. That could have been devastating, and it is! Lunar's going to be able to send that rebound into the net, and it's going to be University of Mississippi taking their third game, one game away from moving on into the playoffs, and the Saints eliminated if they lose this next one the Saints have to be playing fearfully here and I can only imagine the nerves that they might be feeling in the situation again they are the underdogs going to this game and they showed us that they are capable of doing damage to the University of Mississippi but so far especially in the last few games it's been really hard to make anything happen yeah University of Mississippi just
making all the right adjustments, it mm -hmm. looks like it seems. Now they won three games in a row, so Saints definitely not on the right side of momentum here. Don't have too much going for them, but still have a, five minutes at least to turn it around to <laughs> yeah. really figure out something that could work for them. They're going to have to throw in a couple curveballs here because whatever they're doing, it's close going to these two overtimes, but it's just not getting the job done. So I really want to see, see, see Saints maybe throw in a couple new plays here try something new that hasn't worked that hasn't, hasn't been tried so far in the series and maybe Spice things up a bit. yeah catch the other team off guard 100 percent you know i i always love seeing the friends and family of the players showing up in the chat I, like i think right now there's c money and lunar's mom in the chat I hope you guys are enjoying the show i know i am so as we're getting into game six theo both of these teams really want to take this series i think that's very easy to understand very easy to see based off of how close especially that zero score Overtime yeah. was so many shots were made and so many of them were saved and I can only imagine how fearsome it's gonna get into this last game where everything's on the line for the Saints. If they lose this one, there's no other chances. Their season they've been fighting to get into Nace, they've been fighting to win this season, but if they lose here, it's all gone. Yeah, I mean they got got off to a great start, but you have to give props or props to University 100%. of Mississippi. Definitely turning it up a notch and playing very, very good Rocket League in these last three games, but we're right about to get into game four and we are underway. It's going to be University of Mississippi looking like they start off well on the kickoff again. Spoo's going to be forced to make a pretty simple save there, but the aggression has not slowed down from University of Mississippi, no matter the scoreline, no matter what game it is. They're really trying to find these goals, especially early on into the games. They're really putting on a lot of pressure, but it looks like Saints are going to be able to make Maintain their defensive stance here, not giving up any any goals very early. You could see Vesh this time sitting in that net, making sure nothing squeezes through. As Christian gonna go in the attack, Lunar gonna be able to find the clearance there, try and pass it over to a teammate. Stealth will be there over to C Money now. The shot comes on target, but Vesh with a crucial save. Lunar goes for the follow up, was not gonna be able to find oh, it, and then C Money finally on the third shot will give University of Mississippi the lead. We see it again, Vesh finding the save there, but then Christian. Bumping it over, just not enough C money in the perfect spot will give University of Mississippi a quick 1 0 lead. Yeah, very well played. I feel like it's those moments where University of Mississippi just mounts so much aggression. These repeated back to back shots are just so hard to defend against, and the Saints always crumble whenever they get that momentum going. And I feel like they haven't been able to replicate the same success oh. on their side of uh -oh. offensive things. But so far, again, looks like University of Mississippi trying to get that momentum going. Like you see, oh just going for shot after shot after shot. The Saints are kind of crumbling as it goes through, and I can't blame them. It's such a hard thing to deal with having some of the best players in the league just constantly battering at your defense you're bound to make some mistakes and the Saints are only human after all but Vesh and Spoos are looking to double prove commit. me wrong here double commit it's gonna go their way but Christian is gonna end up being left that. open and Stealth is gonna find that opportunity and go straight for it another excellent goal by University of Mississippi and they're proving it right if you can just overwhelm the Saints it's so hard for them to play the defense well yeah, you can see the Saints definitely struggling here in this in this uh, sixth uh, sixth game. University of Mississippi putting on all the pressure and Saints definitely having a couple of miscommunication plays here and there as they double committed there, led to a goal. Now they're dug themselves into a pretty deep hole. Down 2-0 against a team that is very, very strong. University of Mississippi, they're going to be able to find the clearance, but C-Money now going to be here on defense. I wonder if University, University of Mississippi are going to turn it up still on the offensive end or if they're just going to try and play a bit more laid back, not play too aggressive and just make sure that they hold on to this lead. They're going to find the save, uh, the demo there, the Spoods forced to make a save there as now University of Mississippi are three minutes away from heading into the next round. Saints are really going to have to find a miracle here to bring themselves back into this one. 100% Spoods and C-Money and a little bit of a skirmish here and there, exchanging blows in the corner. Spoods, it feels like it's slow motion. That's such an intense situation as the Saints almost finding their first goal in the series there, but it's not going to go their way completely. Vesh going to be able to take that one, send it flying out of the corner there, but is he still chasing? It. Yes, he is. Spoods just barely missing that 50, losing it out there. Not the king of 50s any longer. Vesh is going to be able to take this one out, though. Send it to the air. Going to go for that center, oh, but it's going to get cleared up by Stealth. Spoods on the opposite side of things here. Going to be able to fly this one into the air, but Luna's going to be able to steal it out. Vesh waiting on the ground, but he's going to lose that 50. Luna going to be taking it right over his head. Going to be trying to send it straight forward, but Chris 
Vesh and just misses it. Spoods with a desperate attempt at a defense, but Vesh is still waiting on the floor there. Vesh also gonna try to get the interception, but Lunar's gonna be able to take it. Spoods almost sends it flying, but decides to take it slow, take it easy, keep it in his control as long as he can. Getting a demo in the meantime as well. Beautifully played. Christian gonna be able in the corner, gonna fight for it. Vesh is gonna be there to offer reinforcements, but Christian still in the back line, off, able to offer support. Still exchanging blows here, just dealing as much bump damage as he can, just keeping them out of the way. But another save from Spoods is going to allow an opportunity for the Saints to get a little bit of a breathing room. As long as it's in the air, as long as it's flying, spinning away from their goal, they have time to maintain their composure and rebuild. Oh. Vesh, this is a goal opportunity. You have to go for something like the this bump. here. Spoods with the bump. Spoods in the net. There and we Vesh go. with the goal. Very well played. One to two. The Saints are still kicking and they still want this one going. What an excellent play by the Saints. University of Mississippi just has to keep holding on. Even there, fighting it still scraping the top of the ball with the top of your car <laughs> and it still finds its way in. University of Mississippi is showing so much fight. That's a huge goal though for the Saints. Put themselves in a position maybe to bring themselves into at least an overtime here. One more goal. They have a minute to clean up their act and keep their season hopes alive as Christian. Oh! It's going to go for a shot on target. See money going to find a crucial save there as now maybe University of Mississippi are going to be on their counter attack. South going to give a bump there to the ball but Vesh finds a touch as well to make sure no follow sh up shots are there. Lunar with one minute remaining. Gonna find that password to stealth, but Christian with a crucial interception. Now Saints should be able to get control of the ball a little bit as the shot on target comes out from Simon. He spoods though, finds the save, and now Christian is gonna be on the attack. No boost though, so won't be able to find too much as the demo comes out onto Vesh. That shot might be on target, no. and that might be oh. all she wrote. That one Dem demo onto Vesh could have been the reason there was no goalie for the Saints there. Simon snipes one away from a full court and gives University of Mississippi a 3-1 lead with 41 seconds remaining. Beautifully done, but you know, we saw in game four, was it, where the Saints looked to be taking the series and University of Mississippi tied it up in the last six seconds. Yep. Anything can happen in Rocket League, especially when the stakes are this high. The Saints just have to demonstrate that oh, they want it. it! And they want it so bad! Vesh is gonna take it straight off of the kickoff from their side of the field and straight into the net all by himself! What a beautiful play for from the Polish master. Vesh, an absolute beast on the field of Rocket League. Excellently played. Beautiful mechanics there from Vesh. Gives Saints a fighting chance here with 30 seconds to go, but they need to be practically perfect. And let's see if they can pull it off. Spoods gonna ping that one across the field. Stealth though, gonna play it safe. Just bounce that one off the back. And now Lunar's gonna be on the attack. Every second the University of Mississippi is attacking, it's time off the clock for the Saints to go on the counter and score something. You can see Spoods, oh. he was playing very, very aggressively there, hoping one of his teammates could blast that one up, but that could be all she wrote. Stealth gonna find the pass to himself off the back there and takes it over. Vesh gives University of Mississippi a 4 2 lead as they more than likely will be taking the series. Yeah, uh, like it, that was a really bad situation to be in if you're Vesh. You know, he was, it's a situation where you can't really reposition yourself very well he was kind of on a slope yeah. and away from the ball rolling but with five seconds left this is more than oh, <laughs> they found one <laughs> Theo. We've seen this before. Do you believe in fate? I, I said it last time, I'll say it again. <laughs> I think there's a chance. There's been so many situations where the Saints are able to quote unquote tie it up where yeah. if they were just, if they were able to save that last one, they'd be tied up and we'd be going to overtime. But with two seconds left, three to four, the Saints, they have to do something it's up, it's up. here. It's in the air. Vesh, what are you going to do, buddy? Can you make it work? But oh, no. Nice try. No follow up. University of Mississippi able to take the series and advance in the playoffs. The Saints are out of the nace playoffs for Rock League, but I think our, was that the Academy team that was in that? Or was I, there was two teams there. I'm not I'm sure, not but sure. the Saints, at least this squad here, they're going to be out of it, unfortunately. But I think ultimately what matters the most in a competitive environment is you can say you played without regrets, and I yeah. feel like both teams can absolutely say they did. Yeah, without a doubt. That was, that was a great series of Rock League. We went to a couple overtimes, a lot of goals decided by just one goal so congratulations to yeah. University of Mississippi for moving on they played a very very good series especially after going down 2-0 it's not easy to just oh, come yeah. back and win four in a row but they were able to mentally lock in and win those four games in a row
row. Uh, good season for Mercedes here during the days. Unfortunately, the run will end here, but it was a great game to finish it off. Absolutely. I, I, like I said, I feel like they played without regrets. They were able to do as much as they can in this series. But ladies and gentlemen, that's our Rocket League for the night. But that's not our night completely over as we still have Counter-Strike waiting for us. It's going to be best of three against JMU Dukes, our Counter-Strike team looking to show us what they're made of. But we hope you've enjoyed the show. Again, uh, some friends and family of the players in the chat, C Money's mom, Leader's mom. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the show. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night. But stay tuned as we have Counter-Strike coming up. See you guys soon.